Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about a little bit about these new Gem Fan Hulky props. These are the 2040 three bladed props from Gem Fan. And I know that a lot of people are interested in these uh, props and I've asked a lot of questions about them. And so I went ahead and got some of these and put them on my King Kong uh, 95 GT. I was flying these with the Rotorex. Actually, uh, they are Gem Fan, but they are made by Rotorex. Uh, four bladed props and these are the ones that are currently my favorite. These are the four bladed 2030s I believe and these are very well balanced, uh, good power, uh, just, a, just a good prop overall. And that's what I was flying these props on the King Kong 95 GT and I was, uh, fly this is all modded of course and you can watch that video. I'll put a card in the corner if you're curious about that but um, was flying with those four bladed props and I switched to these gem fan three bladed props and I wanted to see what the difference was. And um, these are just sort of my initial impressions about these. I, I, I'm still, uh, my conclusions on this are a little bit mixed at this point. So, but I'll just, let me just share with you what I've determined so far. So let me first show you what this sounds like line of sight and you can hear what the props sound like there. To me, they sound a little bit more noisy than the uh, four-bladed Gemfan 2030s. And on the punch-outs, it didn't seem like it had as much top-end power on the full throttle. Um, anyway, let me just show you a little bit of clip of that, and then I can talk about this a little bit more. They sound pretty quiet. Not as quiet as the, the four bladed ones. They don't sound unbalanced. They don't feel like they have as much power though. Let's try a punch out test. Punch out test. Yeah, they don't sound as good as the uh, four bladed props. So at least in the line of sight, it felt like it had a little bit less power than the four bladed props. And I think that would make sense. Even though, even though the paddle is a little bit wider than the uh, four bladed prop, you can see the paddle here is thinner on the four bladed prop. So uh, you have less, one, one less blade, so it would make sense that you would have less power overall. But the prop is still well balanced. It, it didn't sound like there were a lot of oscillations or vibrations. It, it, just sounded a little bit noisier than the four bladed prop, I think, because the panel is a little bit thicker. Now, when we look at the, compare the weights of uh, the, the Rotorex or the Gem Fan four bladed prop versus the three bladed prop, you'll see that this is a little bit heavier. I'm going to put these on a scale. I'm going to show you too. So the four bladed Gem Fan 2030s come in at about 3.1 grams, and the three bladed versions are a little bit heavier at almost 3.4 grams, so about uh, 0.3, 3 tenths of a gram heavier, probably because there's a little bit more material here in terms of the plastic. Now if you take a little closer look at the design of the prop here, you can see that there's a curved surface between the hub and the blade on the four bladed prop here, and it's, it's called a fillet, or fillet, I'm, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but that makes this prop very, very durable, and, and you can just, it'll bend and crashes, so you can just bend it back. Now, I haven't crashed these yet, but I can already see that the way the prop is attached to the hub there, it's very, uh, almost like a 90 degree angle, and so what will happen is when this thing crashes, a lot of times the prop will just snap off right at the hub here because uh, there is no material there to absorb the impact of the crash, so something to be aware of. And But in terms of the blade itself, I think it's pretty stiff. It's a lot stiffer than the uh, four bladed prop here, but of course the paddle here is a lot thinner. So, mm, you know, I, I'm, I'm not sure how it will do in a crash, if it bends and if it'll bend back or not. I'm thinking it because it's stiffer, it'll probably snap. 
That's just my thought. So of course I did fly this FPV and I'll show you a little bit of FPV footage. Um, I felt like, again, it didn't have enough punch out power compared to the four blader prop. I think I'm just used to having a lot of punch out power on the four blader prop. I think these are a little bit more efficient. I, I mean, I didn't really do a battery testing in this, but it did feel like uh, you could get, it was a little bit more efficient in terms of um, battery um, usage. So maybe you get a little more flight time in this because it has a little bit less power, but it would make sense. It would draw less amps. That I'm not 100% sure on, but that's just sort of my feeling on that. And while it lacked uh, top end power, I think it had more speed in the straightaways. And I think it's because this prop was spinning faster, perhaps. It just felt a, just a touch faster when you're going very fast on straightaways and not actually turning. Just a, just a touch. A very, very subtle difference. I could just feel that in, when I was flying it around. Um, but when you're making hard turns, I felt like it was sliding more. So I may need to do some tuning on this because it is a, obviously a different flight characteristic with a 3 blade prop. So in any event, I think overall it's a good prop. It's, it seems balanced. Uh, it, it just seems like it has decent power, but not as much as the four-bladed prop. So if you're looking for some different flight characteristics, I would definitely check this prop out. Uh, I think you might get a little bit longer flight time, a little bit less power. So if you're more into like straightaways and sort of just cruising around and uh, don't need a ton of power, uh, something like this might be worth looking into. Uh, in terms of durability, I think it might be less durable than the four-bladed prop. So that's also something to, to consider. But the four blader prop costs a lot more than the three blader prop. So you can check the prices for these below, but these are very pricey. You can get, I think typically uh, one set of these is running between $2.50 to $3 in a lot of places. And I think that you can get two sets of these for the same price of one set of these. So it's half the price. So um, then again, if you're breaking these a lot, uh, these might be a better deal because oftentimes I'm I put one set of the, of the four bladed props on a micro and I just crash and I bend the prop back and usually after it's been bent about four or five times it gets all mangled and it's all like zigzaggy then I replace the prop because it just doesn't perform very well but um, you know that's something to consider consider because I, I, on some a lot of my quads I haven't crashed that much I, the, the the first set of these props that I put on there are still on there after many crashes so that's something to consider anyway you guys I hope you found the video helpful I hope it answers some of your questions regarding these props I, I think that I obviously need to spend a lot more time flying these and I, I will obviously do a follow up video down the road and give you some more opinions on what the flight characteristics are like but. Overall, I think they're pretty positive for now, and I think that if you're looking for some different props and different flight characteristics, I would definitely uh, check these props out. So if you guys have any questions about these props, let me know in the comments section below, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.